Okay, here's my homemade sleeve hitch that I've uh, designed and welded up myself. I just kind of want to give a little bit of an overview. Uh, I wanted to show the functions of it first, but as you can see, I've got a receiver right here that I bought at Harbor Freight, pretty cheap. That allows me the opportunity to slide whatever I want in here. Greater blade. Um, right now you see I have a ball on it. I'm actually able to back right up to my trailer, get right underneath the ball right underneath the hitch and just lift it right up no matter what kind of weight I have on it. Um, this is a mechanical winch that I've welded on. Um, you see I've got a socket welded to it. I use a drill and just turn around and spin it up or down and the function works great it could be a little quicker but it works out fine um, it's two separate pieces um, this is this is all just flat plate steel that I've bent with a vise and then bolted together and welded um, there's, this is a piece of real thick angle iron. Hope you can see it. That I've welded in. That way I had something flat for the receiver to bolt to. Um, I, this horseshoe shape here is one separate piece. And then I've got it bolted here. Going down, I have a, just any couple bolts that I found at both ends where it actually comes to the frame. You can see thick angle iron there. I had this originally just bolted. I've since welded the back edge, as you can see, and then underneath the frame, because it takes a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. Um, I've got a handle on it right here, and that's just uh, allows me to reach back and kind of shake it if I need to or something like that. So now it's got all the pressure you want pulling up Unfortunately, without adding weight, it doesn't have a, uh, the ability to put down pressure, but the trailer always has weight on it, so I'm not worried about that. And I've made a homemade grater and a trencher that hooks into it, and sometimes I add blocks for weight. Um, this right here, that's just a flat piece of steel underneath here that I've welded and framed up. And then this is square tubing that goes on the inner part of my frame. John Deere designed these for attachments. Um, unfortunately, their attachments are expensive and hard and far and few between for these older um, garden tractor lawnmowers. Originally, I had it where it bolted and that's all it had, but it, this thing really outperformed itself as far as how much pressure it could take and how much I could lift with this. I've actually hooked chains to this, hooked it down to the bottom of my fence, old fence post and sucked them out of the ground. I had to get a couple different bites on them, but it actually pulled them straight up out of the ground. They were about two feet of concrete around them, um, top to bottom. Yeah, it's been uh, very, very helpful, uh, very stout. They're not that expensive. I think the Craftsman one you can get for 200 bucks. Um, all together, I might have 60, 70 bucks, but I was able to custom make this for my application. Now, the reason I have it welded here, you can actually see this is twisted a little bit from me having a ton of weight on it. Um, I'm kind of making a breaking point on purpose. On both sides, I've got these bolts that I've kind of designed them to be like shear bolts. I, I would rather a bolt break than it tear something up. Although this frame is extremely robust, it's uh, gonna take a lot to mess that frame up. Um, this is a early 2000s John Deere um, lawn tractor. Uh, it's just a step below a lawn mower and just a step below the actual garden tractor. It's fully uh, hydrostatic run though. But anyways, I guess I can show the function of this thing. 
Going up and down. That's up. And that's down. Very useful. Um, there's a lot of different ideas on YouTube. I thought I'd share mine. Not that mine's better than anybody else's. It's just what has functioned and worked for me, but it might allow somebody out there to build on an idea they've already got. Um, I've got another video kind of showing the front blade on really everything all together um, that you can see if you subscribe. It's, this is um, only got a couple videos counting this one on there, but I'm also going to do one on the front blade at some point because that one's a little more interesting um, as far as how it works, and it's it's been very, very useful also. It's electrically winch driven, so... Anyways, I hope this helped. If anybody's got any questions, leave a comment. I'd be more than glad to try to get back with you. Thank you.